Hey guys, David Silver here, bring you the uh, Royal Rumble review from 2012 Royal Rumble, which happened last night in UK time, which was yesterday morning UK time, which was 1 a.m. yesterday on Skybox Office. Or if you were like me, live stream, watch the live stream. <laughs> Thank you to live stream. Um, what can I say about the Royal Rumble 2012? Well, championship match. Daniel Bryan picking up another win. Uh, I can say the match was, it was like, in my view, it was an okay match. It was not really what I kind of expected, really, from a steel cage match. Although Big Show and Mark Henry, like always, the two great behemoths dominating. Then Daniel Bryan will pick up a win somehow. Not the best match. Then we move on to the Divas match, which was Kelly Kelly, Tamina, Eve, and the Eve Torres and Alicia Fox versus the Bella Twins. I found them both. Beth Phoenix, Natal Natalia, and also yeah, that's it. Beth Phoenix, Natalia, and the Bella Twins. Uh, I mean, that was that was an entertaining match. Like, I mean, I thought it was pretty entertaining. Not just because of the. Um, Hot as hell divas, apart from Tamina, I don't she's just an ugly, no, no, I don't mind her, she's stuck hair. Scare, in fact, she scares me, big time. I wouldn't even jump in bed with her. Uh, but the, uh, overall, that match was pretty good, actually. It was like what I expected from a divas match. And there was, and then I think, it, I believe it was Drew McIntyre versus the Funkasaurus Rex, Brodus Clay. Now, Brodus Clay, over the recent weeks, has... Been um on a roll lately with the WWE. He's just been on a roll, and he is like um he's he's incredible. And I just got a text message. Hold on. I'm working Wednesday three three. All right, here we go. The better business. Uh, that match, I like all the British Clay matches. Like always, British Clay dancing about, all that. It's entertaining. I, I think I like British Clay. He is entertaining. He's just phenomenal. I just, fi I just find him just all good luck. Uh, I don't know who's read it, but Drew seems Drew McIntyre squash. We expected the WWE storyline wise to make at least Drew McIntyre pick up a win. Um. Then there was the uh, WWE Championship match. Yes, the, no, the, no wait, that was before the Royal match, and Bruce Clay and was before the WWE and Drew McIntyre was before the WWE Championship, but before the Bruce Clay and the uh, WWE Championship match. Before that, there was the anticipated matchup: John Cena versus Kane. Now Zack Ryder we came backstage earlier on the night. It's like uh, you saw Zack Ryder backstage. Um, in a wheelchair and a neck brace and, and a back brace, he looked pretty beat up, damn well beat up. And so Arnaeus, as always, gave Zach Ware a personal dressing room, and then Eve went up and said, This is all your fault, Mr. Laurinaitis. <sighs> so much he's, Mr. Laurinaitis has done enough. And I don't think anyone likes John Laurinaitis really. My name is John Laurinaitis, I'm the executive vice president of Telerelations. And the interim Raw General Manager. For now. Um, but yeah, the match between John Cena and Kane, everything that I expected of the match. Cena and Kane just to go all out. And like always, Cena gets beat up for like the match, then comes back. But then it was a double count out. Then it went backstage right near Zack Ryder's dressing room. Kane went to Zack Ryder's dressing room, took Zack Ryder out, and started nailing the shit out of him. All the way down the ring. Eve Torres came out, came out, and then only to see Zack Ryder get Tombstone Power Drive, once again making him get carried out on a backboard. But then Cena tried to come through Zack Ryder's rescue, and Eve well came to Eve's rescue only to get choke slammed to hell, pretty much. Yeah, Cena, I don't think it's working out for you this this time. Um, but yeah. It, that was a pretty entertaining match. I quite enjoyed it. But then, 
the WWE Championship match. Did CM Punk get screwed? Hell no, he didn't. CM Punk did not get screwed. The special guest referee, John Laurinaitis, I watched the match from the outside. You would think Mr. Laurinaitis would do something, yeah? But when, the, but when the ref got knocked down, yeah? Right, Mr. Laurinaitis, I mean, Johnny Laurinaitis, John Laurinaitis, whatever you call him, Mr. Laryngitis, Langitis, Manginus, Manginitis. Um, but yeah, when the ref was down, Mr. Laurinaitis was checking out checking his, his fellow employee was okay. A CM Punk at least pinned Dolph Ziggler three times. Come on, it was just like one, two, three. Mr. Laurinaitis even do count it. He said he wasn't getting into the ring. He wanted to make sure a fair, fair person to mediate from the outside of the ring. But then when the ref got back in. Ken, when Mr. Laurinaitis held him back in, CM Punk with the GTS, turns off Ziggler around, Ziggler's foot hit the back of John Laurinaitis' neck, or well, head, sorry, head, not neck, and then, next thing you know, Ziggler comes up with a counter, goes to the pin, Ryder, no, not Ryder, <laughs> Punk kicked out at two, two and a half, well, 2.9, so it's like a split second, and then Punk got back in the match, into the match. The GTS, the ref counted one. Lorna is sliding into the ring and it was like two, three with the ref. And then CM Punk wins the championship while retains his title. Then the match that everyone in the universe anticipates the Royal Rumble. Now, there was rumors that Brock Lesnar was going to be there at number 30. Earlier that I can clarify it, that never happened. Um, but entertaining part of the Royal Rumble, Miz came at number one, um, eliminated Truth, and but I'm not going to say all the elimination. You probably already know who all got eliminated anyway. But a uh, special, but the guests in the Royal Rumble this year were pretty good. Like you had Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and heck, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Mick Foley, obviously was going to be in the Rumble. And how you had Road Dog, the one, one of the original members of D Generation X. Uh, Karma came back, the Great Kali came back, and Chris Jericho made his role in the, was in the Rumble as well. Obviously, he was going to be in the Rumble. And but the best part of the Rumble, hands down, was when Jerry the King Law or got was in the Rumble. It's just like Cole's like, "You're doing in the Rumble. What are you doing? Doing." Then King got eliminated by Cody Rhodes. The next thing you knew, that wasn't all. Later on in the Rumble, Booker T was in the Booker T's music hit, and Booker's like, "I'm going in the Rumble, sucker!" And Cole's just like, "What's he doing in the Rumble? He should be calling commentary." But after when Booker T, Booker T got eliminated, who gets involved in the Rumble? Michael Cole. Everyone hates Cole. All he just did was dance around. Then Karma came out. Well, as if you don't know who Karma is, that was Awesome Kong in TNA. So yeah, that now you know. Um, but Karma came out. Cole went over the top rope. But Cole, he Cole climbed over the top rope. Next thing you know, Jerry and Booker just grabbed Cole by the legs, could take him, take him down. Uh, but Karma then got eliminated by Dolph Ziggler. Well, after when Karma eliminated Hunico, who was uh, the Sin Cara Neg Negro. Negro, yeah, Negro. People say Negro, but it's, that's racist. Um, but the last two of the Roman Bowl this year was Sheamus and Chris Jericho, which they gave us a good display of the last two people in the Rumble. It was very impressive, I will say. And the winner of the Royal Rumble 2012 this year was Sheamus. Who will he face this year at the Rumble? Will he face Daniel Bryan? For the uh, World Heavyweight title, or will he go on to face CM Punk? Whatever WWE has planned for Sheamus, time will tell. Because tonight, Monday Night Raw, John Laurinaitis gets evaluated by the COO, Triple H. Who I reckon, which I reckon Undertaker is going to come back tonight and make Star Wars with Triple H for WrestleMania or Brock Lesnar. Come on, bring back the Lesnar. And our YouTubers, that's me for now, and that was the uh, Royal Rumble 2012 review. Stay tuned next month, well this month, February 19th, for Elimination Chamber. Then after that, WrestleMania 28, 
Rock versus Cena. That's those two reviews coming up over the next two months. Rock vs. Cena, the most anticipated matchup ever. Have a great night, and see you tomorrow for my Rock review.